Kingsman Media Group. Let me first say this. Number one, um, my father, copyright, as you well know, uh, the I Have a Dream speech. He wrote several books that were copyrighted in his very name. He did not copyright them in the name of SCFC. He did not copyright them in the name of Ebenezer Baptist Church. And so he put his own material in the, in the world of commerce. He also went to court because there was some record company trying to print his I Have a Dream speech and sell it in the marketplace to protect it himself. With that said, when it comes to his words, I believe there's a proper way to benefit from that. But there are some things you don't say. You have to draw a line. And so I don't feel culpable in that regard. And secondly, I, I do not sit at the helm of the state of Martin Luther King Jr. Inc. I've never sat at the helm of that particular uh, company. But I don't think there's anything wrong with the proper propagation of his legacy as long as it's done in taste and it's done in dignity. And I know I have not, the way the word is presented is if profiting in the sense that there's this super wealth, I know my personal story. And I know things that you all know not of. And because I love my family and I respect dignity and, dignity and privacy, those are things that I'm not free to share. Um, but just suffice it to say, I do not feel let me share from Dr. Joseph E. Lowry this statement. I am unable to attend today, but I'm deeply disturbed by the thought of selling Martin's Bible and Peace Prize. I sincerely hope that they and the children will find a way to resolve their differences and address their problems without the thought of putting Martin's Bible or Peace Prize for sale. Dr. Joseph B. Lyra, convener the Coalition for the People's Agenda. Kingsman Media Group.